is the eccentric diva and first of all I'd like to say happy new year to all this is my very first video of 2013 and also my very first video as a YouTube partner I became partner on December 27th through a network called full screen and under full screen there's a subdivision called boutique and so I'm part of the boutique family now and um, they focus a lot on um, fashion and makeup and do-it-yourself projects so it's like just right my alley and so I applied and um, was accepted. I found out about Full Screen and Boutique through the creative lady here on YouTube. She has a wonderful channel. I mean she just has so much information that I really you know learn a lot from her and I will put her information in the description box so you can check her out too. So if you follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram you know that I said I was going to be uploading a video of how I um, organize my vanity now. I first did a video back in 2010 and um, there was a lot of stuff there that I got rid of because I wasn't using it and um, you know things change, you, you learn uh, what works for you over time so right now this is what's working for me so I'm going to uh, show you how I'm organizing my vanity. Um, you know you may not my bathroom is pretty large so I'm able to um, spread out you know my stuff in the bathroom but even if you're like using the, a dresser top um, or your sink top you can like there's so many ways that you can keep your stuff organized even if it comes down to just using a shoe box you know putting little dividers in there but um, I like you know kind of displaying my stuff and um, also using different items like from TJ Maxx and also uh, office supply stores you know to help me organize my makeup also for my local people uh, there's a guy Jeff at the Columbus market and he sells a lot of like acrylic things in 2010 I kept my makeup and hair products together now I separated them in a process of um, straightening out my hair products underneath my sink so I'll show that also and um, you know if you have any questions Please feel free to ask and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So starting out on the left side, I have this little fixture that I picked up from Bed Bath & Beyond and it holds like my mascaras, my eyeliner, um, my eyeshadow base and um, here I just have these brushes that are for decoration. I like them because they have little rhinestones on there. So I can make that clear. And um, the eye curler which I really don't use but um, you know, because a lot of eye stuff is there, I keep it there. And over here are my MAC products, which are my eyeshadows. And um, I got this picture from Jeff over at the Columbus Market. And uh, I got the little um, beads in there from Michaels. Back here are um, some lip products from Keta Vaughn. Um, you can find her on the, the web. Um, she has some wonderful lipstick and I mean and she sells lashes and I'll put her um, website in the description box also I have like my Mac um, eyeliners and then Mac um, what's it, studio fix foundations some lipstick some lip glass um, eyeshadow base and to tell you the truth I didn't know anything about eyeshadow bases before I started watching YouTube it was just like I would just take eyeshadow and just you know put it all on my fingers but then, you know, you watch and you learn. So that's all like my MAC products. Now moving down on this um, stand, which I got from a store called C.H. Martin in Ewing, if you're local. Um, I think it was like $10. And um, on the second shelf, I have my polishes. And I'm really not that big into polish. Uh, the little acrylic stands I got from Jeff at the Columbus Market. And also, I keep my um, some perfumes over here. Uh, my co-worker, bless her heart, she gave me um, the Forever Red um, for Christmas. Now down here, I keep my uh, cotton balls inside this decorative box. I'm trying to see. Got it from TJ Maxx. It's $5.99. And also um, my polish removers there and then just some decorative um, soap bars um, you know I don't plan on really using them I just like them for the you know how they 
give a decorative effect. So I also wanted to point out that I no longer use the bin that had the drawers, you know, that I was keeping like my um, oils in and um, some other things. So everything is pretty much out here um, on, you know, by using this stand. And inside this box, which I got from um, I believe TJ Maxx or Marshalls one, it's like twenty dollars. I like it because of you know with the mirrored look. And inside, I keep the brushes that I use, you know, every day. Okay, my brushes are there. And then um, I like to use tape so I don't go outside the line. You know, when I put my eyeshadow on, so I use tape every day too. And these are like my basic foundations. I really like the Kiss. Um, it helps cover blemishes. So, so those are my brushes and foundation. And um, this vanity, my husband actually bought from. Um, it's a place on Route 130 in South Jersey. It's the Amish um, flea market. So. Um, this is the same one I've had. And on this shelf here, I have a book for, you know, writing down some ideas or um, getting ideas from tutorials. And uh, just a little decorative box here with some soap in it. You will see that I do love flowers. And nice thing about this one, it actually plays little calm music. <laughs> okay, and here's my mirror that I got from Sally's. Still using that, and it lights up. And um, it you know, magnifies up to eight times. And then back here behind my mirror is this my piggy bank, my lipstick piggy bank. And if you follow me on Instagram, you could have won one of these. Shout out to Kim, it's Kay Harris, I believe it's 11.44, who won uh, the lipstick um, piggy bank, where you had to guess like how much money I had found in my pocketbooks in my. Uh, my closet and then I used random.org and she was the winner. Then over here I have another mirrored box which I keep like uh, wiped for wiping off my makeup and stuff like that. Over here I keep my NYX products and it's like the same setup as the MAC ones. Um, down here with some MAC, um, I'm sorry, NYX eyeliners and uh, jumbo pencils and uh, lip glosses. And these, um, I like these stick blush. Sorry if I'm talking funny. I had oral surgery, so. But anyway, uh, this is uh, the stick blush. And I first came across these when I went to IMATS in New York with my sister Philly Diva. And speaking of which, we are both going to IMATS LA on um, this month, January 18th. We'll be going out, flying out. So, um, if you're going to I'm at LA, look us up and let us know if you're going. And shout out to my Aunt Brenda who's going to watch my mom while I go to California. And to my husband who says uh, he could use a break. <laughs> also over here, I got this, um, the Soho Glam Collection, which really, this is really all I need. <laughs> but I do use these here from the Caribbean collection and then this little box I found at the Salvation Army and I just have like some extra eyeshadows in there. This train case right here was brought by my work mom and inside I'm just keeping all like the lipsticks that I don't use as much and uh, <laughs> so and then some foundations down here that I don't use as much. But um, that's what I'm using this for. And um, when you come down over here, I have some foundations back there. And this little picture I found from Jeff, it was like $7. I used to keep my mascaras in there. And then this, I just had to have this, I think it was like $35. But <laughs> I have some more lipsticks in here or lip glass. And then it has a drawer. And, and there. Down here, these decorative boxes I got from TJ Maxx. 
and I just have some more um, stuff that I don't use as much. So kind of went with, with the flower theme and um, I have um, my uh, MAC um, brush cleaner solution in there. And as you can see, I like mirror, so I found this box at uh, Burlington Coat Factory and in it I have like nail stuff and uh, tips and some old, not old, some mascaras that I um, haven't used yet. Like I love this Great Lash um, by Maybelline, which I'm always wearing the uh, royal blue. It's like I can't get away from it. <laughs> And then down here are some brushes I don't use and uh, I guess this one palette from LA Colors. Maybe I'll just do a quick uh, bathroom tour. <laughs> and over here is by Jacuzzi, underused Jacuzzi. And um, out here we have about two acres which I would love to see. A swimming pool, basketball court, tennis court, you know, a girl can dream, but <laughs> anyway, that's our backyard, and behind this door, a lot of thoughts as to what I'm going to do in a video are made, or conceived, or a lot of thoughts are flushed, okay, <laughs> over here is my um, shower, and um, over here um, is my my sink area. We have a double sink. Although I primarily use this bathroom, my husband uses the guest bathroom. So um, down here, I keep my hair products, and we're in the process of, you know, keeping that, getting that all straightened out and cleaned out. And uh, have some turbans here, and my essential oils, and. Um, I got some aloe vera gel back there, and there's my wig head <laughs> that I'm not using, and in my medicine cabinet, I try to keep like some facial products and body products, keep them there, and uh, this is another case that I got from TJ Maxx, and in here I keep like um, my uh, satin caps and my Demon brush and this is usually my finishing product, um, the Eco Styling Gel, Olive Oil Styling Gel. And over here is uh, more hair products and we're still weeding out some here. These uh, undershirts I like to use like to dry my hair or to get the excess product out of them. And then I have my, the products that I use the most over here, like the Shea Moisture and also Natural Rocks. I must <laughs> order more. And uh, Wonder Curl. I love her um, Get Set Hair Jelly. So I need to order more of that. It's a cabinet that I use the most. Um, yeah, I have my deodorant, my um, toner for my skin, and. Uh, moisturizer. This is a facial scrub that I made um, with uh, raw honey and uh, nutmeg that I like to use and then my favorite perfume and then also the rose water is used with the uh, sandalwood as like a facial treat. <laughs> um, a mouthwash and then I like to keep one handy just when I run out I'm ready to make my next concoction. And then some oils there and the uh, another uh, facial uh, product. My bathroom, I guess if it was a perfect square, it'd be about uh, 14 or I think 14 by 16, something like that. So this is pretty much how my, I guess I changed this to a <laughs> bathroom tour and how I'm organizing my makeup vanity. So uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, bye.